All right, hello everybody. This is Phil. Uh, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on probing an easel, okay, without switching to 1.0C and uh, using uh, the old Arduino uh, G Shield setup. So no need to switch if you are okay with a little workaround. Um, uh, here, my man Sketch42 on the forum. Uh, let me know that there's an easy workaround. I was trying to do it basically the full way. I'll show you what I mean there. Here is my probe command that I use in uh, the macro that I use in UGS. Okay, It switches to inches, turns off the spindle, switches to inches. inches. Uh, it tells it to go down and look for a connection, uh, and it will search for a half an inch. Okay, at a feed rate of two inches per minute. And then it goes and it tells it, okay, once you make a connection, uh, the position where you're at, where you touched, is 0.505 above Z0. Okay, and uh, then it tells you to retract 0.245 inches. That's what this is. Um, here is what I'm going to send in easel. It's basically uh, a shortened version. It's just this part here. Um, and so it'll go and it'll stop the uh, bit from moving once it feels that connection. And that you don't need any kind of upgrade to do. You can send that one line. And then from there, okay, you just jog in the walkthrough. You jog it up a certain distance and then you jog it down that certain distance and down the depth or the thickness of your touch plate. So I know that my touch plate is 0 0.505, so we'll do it real quick here. Alright, here's uh, my setup. I already jogged it X and Y, okay? So I know my X and Y is zeroed out. Uh, if you're using a bump stop, that's easy. You can just type in your G28 and it will go there, okay? So I already used Carve to jog it to my X and Y zero, okay? So the bit is where it should be. I plug in uh, my probe. I ended up buying this mono plug here off of Amazon. And it works really nice. Uh, I have uh, Charlie's, uh, the same guy that makes the, uh, the three point uh, touch plate. Uh, he made this awesome plug here and I, I can't stress it enough that this thing works awesomely um, it's a magnetic clip okay uh, I use positive for my bit but I mean it, what you can do is it actually can go right to the collet you don't have to do it to the bit it'll go to the collet on the collet in the uh, uh, on the DeWalt the collets are magnetic Okay, so there's that. Here's my touch plate, which is just a big hunk of copper. Okay, and what I do is I usually hold it down so to make sure it's flat. Uh, but I'm holding the camera, so I probably won't be able to do that. Um, so anyways, put that hook, set your probe up like you would in UGS. Come over. And we're going to go to machine... Advance, Machine Inspector, go to the command prompt. In the command prompt, we are going to enter in everything that we that we had in that other uh, in the other text file. Okay, just copy and paste it in there. Inches. If you want to use uh, millimeters, you just put this as a 21 and make sure you set your uh, Z negative here, your your seek rate to a metric version. Okay, so we're gonna copy and paste that in, and then we're gonna hit enter, and it's gonna go down, and it's gonna make contact and stop. Okay. That's about as good as we're gonna get. Okay, there, made contact, okay? 
from here. Okay, and go to carve. And I'll, I have a lot of Z room, so I can send mine up an inch, no problem. I have about four inches of clearance above it. So I'm going to send it up an inch. Take the probe off. Okay. Put that aside. I'll go down an inch. Okay. And now, like I said, I know my touch plate is 0.505. So I'll say 0.505 down in the Z. Okay. And that'll get me right there. So, provided I had a good touch, um, which actually it looks looks like I did, looks pretty damn good. Uh, like I said, I usually hold it steady with my fingers so that uh, nothing happens, but uh, you can see, there we are, touch plate. So, we can use a touch plate to do uh, two-stage carves, all right? Uh, so you don't have to do the paper trick anymore. Now, if you're doing something fast, this guy here that I'm doing, the depth really isn't important. Okay, it's a candy dish. It's not something mechanical. It's not a two-stage car. Two-stage cars, I will definitely be using this trick. But, uh, you know, the paper trick works great. You just slide the paper back and forth until it grabs, and then that's it. That's good enough for a lot of things. Okay, but this is a great workaround for using a probe in easel without uh, upgrading and using the X controller and 1.0C and all that jazz. All right, thanks. Bye.